time to sing and have some fun. We're gonna hear God's word before we're done. We're gonna dance. We're gonna shout. Hello, true blessings. I hope you guys have been having a great week and staying warm as we enter the winter season. Well, I'm so excited that we get to talk about how Jesus chooses us to follow him today. And before we get started, who do we need to help us? We need Hamilton. So when I count to three, let's all call out as loud as we can, Oh, Hamilton, where are you? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, Hamilton, where are you? Hi, Hamilton. It's so good to see you today. Have you been staying warm? Yes. Well, Hamilton, are you going to show us a clue for the Big God story? You are? I wonder what it could be. <gasps> What is this, Hamilton? It's for fishing? It's a fishing net. Hmm. I wonder what this has to do with our story. Friends, do you remember last week's story? Hmm. Well, let's get started and see what this fishing net has to do with the Big God story. Well, one day, Jesus was by the sea, and lots and lots of people were listening to him. Jesus was talking about God. A sea is filled with water. Hmm, what's something that lives in the sea? That's right, fish live in the sea, and clams live in the sea, and maybe an octopus or a shark could live in the sea. Well, many people had gathered near the sea to hear what Jesus had to say. And it was getting really, really crowded. So Jesus decided to climb into a boat so that everybody could hear him and see him. When Jesus was finished teaching all of the people, he asked one of his new friends, Peter, to throw his fishing net into the water. But Peter told Jesus, they had worked very hard all night and they'd been trying to catch fish and they weren't even able to catch one tiny fish. But Jesus told Peter, throw your net in the water again. What did Jesus tell Peter to throw into the water? His net? Is this part of your clue, Hamilton? Well, Hamilton, do you want to throw your net into the water? Okay, here goes Hamilton. <gasps> wow, Hamilton, look what you caught. It's a whole net full of fish. <gasps> and that's exactly what happened to Peter and his friends. When they threw their nets over the boat, the Bible says that there were so many fish in their nets that the boat started sinking. Who do you think put all of those fish in that net? I think God did. Because Jesus was showing Peter and his friends that he was God. And then, Peter was so amazed that he ran to Jesus and fell down at his feet. And Jesus told P Peter, from now on, instead of catching fish in the sea, you are going to be a fisher of people. And that is something we can do too. Being a fisher of people just means that you tell others about Jesus, about God, that God loves us, that God made us, that God's with us. And that's what Peter and his friends did. And that's what we can do as well, friends. Isn't that a great story? 
kind of makes me want some fish. <laughs> well, friends, I hope you enjoyed learning this story about how Jesus chooses us to follow him. And Hamilton, you are a very good fisher. I hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you next week for the Big God Story. Goodbye.